What's up my friends, welcome to Travels Code channel. In this video we will solve the next problem from lead code, it's reverse integer. And in this video I will show you two options how we can solve it. The first one is the easiest one from understanding, pretty easy, but from complexity and from time perspective it's not the best. And second one using mass operations. So let's start from the first one, how we can solve it. First of all, we have integer is number and the easiest way to convert it is convert number to string and reverse this string. This is pretty easy. So let's start. Let's create number. So we need, first of all, we need the positive number because of if we have minus, it will break our approach. So we will use math apps x is absolute value then we need convert it to string then we need split split and split by empty string so right now after this operation we will get array and for array we can apply revert function and now we have reverted array and uh, let's uh, let's join, join again empty string and now we will have reverted number. So let's do it. Return number. Okay, let's run for first one. Reverse. So and now it works, but it, it works for positive numbers. Let's check if it's negative. We will check if if x is my less than zero, we will return minus number or otherwise we will return number. So now it will fix the problem with negative numbers and we have only one limitation, it's a 32-bit signed integer. So we need to solve this. So if we submit this code won't be accepted yes because of we have this issue so the easiest way to check it we will add one additional if number more than two thirty two return zero let's check so Yep, so two one. And now as we see this one works. It's not the best case because of we are faster than thirteen percent. But anyway, so this operation is the same as we did um math po two to thirty one. But is the shortest, shortest, short way. Okay, so this one we know, and now let's do it a bit more optimal with uh, mass calculations. Okay, the second approach it's a push pop digits. So it's it's based on the second part. Let's inspect. So we have number, for example, and we can get. Dividing by 10, we will get the result of dividing by 10. So it will be 4. It's the last number. Then, if we divide the last other number by 10, we will get 3 and uh, further. It's pretty simple approach. So let's do. First of all, let's. Uh, we will get reverted. Revert. It's our result. What do we need to return? By default, it's zero. Then, while x, we need the const pop x by ten. So we will get this number. For example, six. For example, three. Then we will get two. Then we will get one. It 
we, we will save this to pop. Then we need the update X. So we divide the X by 10 because so right now we have 123, but we need 12. To, to get it, we need to divide it by 10 and we need the call mass floor or trunk. It's rounding numbers because so we will get pointing, floating number, but we need integer. Okay, and uh, now we updated X and uh, the next one we need uh, revert. We need update revert and it will be revert. It's revert multiply 10 because so here we divided by 10 plus pop. And in the end we need the return revert. Okay, let's run it for the first one. So it works, but we need to cover all corner cases. The first one is negative number. Is it negative or not? So const is negative. Let's save it and uh, we just save x plus zero. So we will know if we will boolean result and we will get negative it or not. The same approach if it's negative. We need to revert minus or revert. Also, don't forget we need the absolute value. So if it is, is negative, we need the x sine x multiply minus one. It's the same that absolute or let's do it better minus one multiply x. Now we will get positive number. Also, we can submit, but we didn't cover the, la the last corner case. It's bigger number. So in our case, let's do it here. The same if revert less, more than mass to 231. Return zero. Let's submit. So it works better, much better. Previously we had nine one hundred sixteen milliseconds. Now we have ninety two. It's better. Also, what we can do a bit optimization. This is operation. We can we know this number. So let's replace this number with a constant. The same result. <coughs> so result is the same. So in the second approach, it's a bit more better from a time perspective. Complete uh, from time perspective. Uh, let's take on the algorithm. We will get uh, what we will get. So complexity, it will be big O logarithm from X is better, much better. And uh, space complexity O1 because of we had just this number and we doing some calculation. So if you like this solution, like this video, subscribe my channel. And for those who subscribed, I will show you one more approach how we can update this code. So what do we have here? Very interesting part, it's a while loop, but in general, if we have these three parts, we can replace this while with the next one, it's a four. Let's replace this cycle with four. So four. I, let's start from X, then while we have this x and uh, that's why we have i and uh, we need uh, i assign so right now we will have this updated 
x value we will update it during the cycle but inside body revert what is pop pop is just x now in case i i divide 10 so we will have the same result let's run okay so run i we need to update i So as you see it works, let's submit, and it works even better. So what do we see, we replaced while cycle with the for cycle, inside this operation with updating x we replaced with updating i, initially i was initialized with x and uh, while the same cycle while we have i the same while we had x we calculating new i is calculating new x and uh, calculating new revert revert is based on the previous value multiply 10 and uh, this uh, pop section we didn't create a new variable we just use this one and now it works faster And that's it. Thank you for watching.